Hello YouTube! This is Unmasked Tuxedo! Welcome to video 6 of my Unified English Braille video series. This video is about multi-cell punctuation. Here is one important rule about multi-cell punctuation. Only the cells that only have dots on the right side may begin such punctuation. The lone exception to this rule is the 5-6 cell, which may never begin multi-cell punctuation. This table gives a short list of permissible multi-cell punctuation in Braille. The row at the top of the table gives all the options for the first cell in the punctuation mark. The column on the far left of the table gives some of the options for the last cell in the punctuation mark. Notice that two of these punctuation marks are punctuation marks that you already learned. Those two cells are the double quotation marks. To use either double quotation mark by itself, or to distinguish the double quotation marks from other types of quotation marks, you must put the 4-5 cell before each one. If you put the dot six cell before a quotation mark cell instead, you will make a single quotation mark. There are other punctuation marks in this table as well, including the backslash, which consists of the 456 cell followed by the CH cell, as well as the forward slash, which consists of the 456 cell followed by the ST cell of which the latter is the fraction bar in numeric mode. The two dashes in the table are red instead of blue. They are exceptions to the rules of the table. Here are two rules about the usage of the dashes. If a braille passage includes both types of dash, use the two cell dash symbol for the N dash and the three cell dash symbol for the M dash. Otherwise, only use the two cell dash symbol for either dash. This is the end of video six. Up next is video seven, in which I will cover word signs and short forms. Until then, this is Unmasked Tuxedo signing off.